Have you gone from millions in the bank to zero? Did you spend too much money in dungeons? Or are you a new player? If yes, well this is the video for you. Today we're going to be going from 10,000 coins to 10 million in just 5 days. Now don't worry, if you're a low level, you can still do it, as the requirements are extremely low. If you're new to the channel, it would mean a lot to me if you guys could subscribe with the notifications on, and tomorrow I'm bringing back live streams to my channel, so I might even do daily streams, which is gonna be very exciting, so hit that notifications bell button, and while you're at it, hit that like button, turn it into a blue button, and anyways, let's just jump right into today's video, and here we go. So what did we do to actually go from 10,000 coins all the way up to 10 million coins? Well, we crafted a lot of Tef Strider enchantment books, and in order to craft them, you would need to have unlocked Buffer Fish 4 collection. It shouldn't take too long to unlock, as you need only 150 Buffer Fish for the recipe. The recipe is very simple, and you only need 2 lily pad, 2 salmon, and 6 paper. At the time of this recording, 2 lily pads cost only 290 coins, 2 salmon cost 24, and 6 paper cost 17 coins. This means for us to craft only one Death Strider 2 book, it would cost us 331 coins. We do need actually two Tep Strider books to make it into level 3, so that would be instead 1145 coins, counting in the XP needed. So now that you know the cost price, well, take a guess how much we could be actually selling it for. Well, on an average, they go for about 35,000 coins, and sometimes all of the books sold within 30 minutes. Now, there were a few times that it didn't sell, and that was only because other players were selling at lower rates. When that happened, I would pick up the books from the auction house and relisted them at cheaper prices. I would usually sell 1000 coins lower than the lowest offer and try not to make a big difference in price overall. Now we could even sell it at 5000 per one and we would still be in profits. We would be making five times our money back from the initial investment, which is kind of crazy to think about. And keep in mind, you can do the exact same thing with other items as well. It could be items that many people don't have the recipe for, but they need it for whatever reasons. Whether it is talismans, swords, armor, there is a large demand in many items. Not only that, but you also have to keep in mind that a lot of players look for comfort rather than going out of their way to buy materials and craft by themselves. So there will be always someone buying even most basic items. Now the reason why I love this money making method a lot over the other ones is that, well, you don't need to grind out too much. Only thing that you have to do is walk to the bazaar, buy the materials, go back to your island and, well, craft it all together and then enchant it all together. It doesn't take too long to actually do this and you can do it in bulk, keep the items in your greater backpacks and then whenever you have finished selling your items, you can go back, fill it up and then do your own thing. You can even log off for 30 to 60 minutes, come back and most likely most of it is sold when it's at the peak hours. There are times when it does take longer to sell and you have to always keep in mind that somebody might be lowballing the auction house so you have to keep that in mind and check that your prices are correspondent to the market prices. Not only that but while we're grinding out other things we are making money from that as well so that's gonna add on top of our money ultimately and we can go further and further and further. Now for this video I didn't really count it in because we made a fair amount of money and also I did a ton of farming while my books were up on the auction house. Now if there was anything to actually complain about, the only thing would be creating the auctions itself. It can take a while and also sometimes it's really frustrating when you just listed like a ton of items at one price and then you see that somebody's just lowballing you. That's the worst of the worst and then you often have to relist or just wait until their items are sold and people start buying your items because that can often happen. Now I do quickly want to say huge thank you to Ovzer. Not sure if I pronounced it correctly but he was the one actually that told me about the Death Strike book method. This method works really really well for the past five days. Now I'm a little bit worried that after this video it's gonna be impacted but if everybody keeps the price above 30,000 for instance this could definitely work for everybody. But uh, once again, demand and supply is a huge thing. But if you do find an item that's in high demand and low supply, that's the one to go with. Of the new items that have been released, they have the largest profit margins. So that's something that you can look out for. And uh, yeah. And well, this is how I went from 10,000 coins all the way to 10 million coins. I may have actually made a little bit more 
but I didn't really keep track too well. Often I would claim items when it wasn't all fulfilled because sometimes I would come here and claim a few and then come back and then put up more, etc, etc. But as you guys can see, this money making method works super well and in just 5 days, going from 10,000 to 10 million comes to show that anybody can do it and if you guys take your time and, you know, grind out a little bit, you can actually get pretty rich here on the server. So just look out for these kind of small things. It's not necessarily always about dungeons, grind or grinding summoning guys. While they are one of the best ways to make money, flipping is also a very good way. And I might actually do a interview with a player that flipped over one billion coins so if you guys do want to see that let me know in the comments down below i'm gonna set up that interview it's gonna be very exciting and i'm gonna ask him how he actually did it some of the strategies and some of the items that made him the most money and i think it's gonna be very interesting just to take a look at different types of money making methods some of them are just full-on grind i remember when tree capitator came out and well we made a ton of money with that from cutting trees. I mean, this was a complete different approach. And now one of the best ways probably to make money with the grind is dungeons instead of summoning guys. So there's plenty of different ways to go. And I hope that this video has teached you a little bit of how to make money and how to start off here on Hypixel Skyblock. But anyways, we're back here on our island now. And I do quickly want to shout out minions as well because minions make a ton of money. I'm not sure how much exactly I made within five days but I'm pretty sure it was over a million or maybe even two millions because minions do make a ton of money and it depends on your minion setup. I'm going to be changing mine very, very soon. And guys, hit that like button if you would like to see my upcoming minion layout because I definitely need to see something that could work out very well for us. Right now, it's just very, very random. And recently, I did actually put down the skeleton minion as well because there is a new thing under the skeleton collection. So that's something that you can look out for as well. New items that could be potentially added. And we do have the enchanted bone block. And uh, well, enchanted bone prices are probably going to go up even more if this item is actually turning out to be OP. And I believe you make the boomerang or how it's called, uh, which is kind of cool. And I'm going to actually try to get that item and see if it's going to be worth worth it. But anyways, I do hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and uh, don't forget streams are coming back tomorrow on Saturday and I'm gonna try to do it kind of daily. We're gonna do floor number four, we're gonna do farming, etc, etc. A lot of fun things and uh, maybe grind out for some new sets for dungeons. Right now we're obviously rocking the tier 12 mythic set, which is pretty outstanding. I did upload a video on this as well, especially comparing it to the heavy set. That was pretty interesting. Go check it out right now if you haven't seen that video. But anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one and a peace out.